Hi, this is Mary from Quilting on the Grid, and today we present Fun, Fast, and Fabulous. How to Strip Quilt Using a Whole Piece of Fabric. The reverse dimension, fill the space with fabric, quilt without cutting strips, and use a whole piece of fabric. Look closely at this piece of fabric. Is it before or after I've sewn it to the batting? Pretty, isn't it? This is it, batting that is pre-sewn, giving you fabric placement marks and sewing guidelines to follow. Mary So Genius Batting Foundation. Since the grid is the same front and back, you can add designs to each side. Use a whole piece of fabric. Fold and use the folds as seams. Prep the batting. Sew a line one quarter inch below the first horizontal grid line. Place a small bead of glue right below the first two inch grid line. I use clear washable school glue. Place the fabric right side up on Mary So Genius batting foundation. Pin the bottom edge of the fabric one quarter inch below the first grid line. Press lightly right over the glue area. Bring the top edge down, fold it forward exposing the wrong side. Fold down until the fold is just below the grid line. Adjust the fold if necessary and press well. So having the right edge of the quarter inch foot follow the grid line. Continue this process until you've covered the amount of Mary So Genius batting called for in the pattern. Now what's on the other side? You know that using Quilting on the Grid's technique on Mary's So Genius Batting Foundation allows you to add quilt designs to both sides of the batting at the same time. So what do you do on the other side? Well, at the same time you are sewing side one folds, you can either use this technique on the reverse side, use a strip technique, or you can add a finished quilting on the grid design to the back. Or is it the front? Or do you want to design your own? Go for it! Thank you for watching. You may also want to watch other Quilting on the Grid presentations on YouTube. Check Quilting on the Grid.